the previous video, we imported a hardware ID of our client, our Windows 11 Hyper-V client. You might have another client. So we saw it came up here under autopilot devices. However, there is no profile, nothing deployment uh, assigned to this. And that's what we're going to do in this video. So we're going to go here on devices in the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Central. Under here, we're going to do Windows. It's a Windows machine, Windows enrollment. So we were here in Devices Manage Autopilot where we added a hardware ID. We need an enrollment status page. That's what the user is going to see or not see. We can set that up. And also the deployment profile where we can decide um, a lot of stuff, the naming uh, standard and stuff. So let's start with the deployment profile. But we're going to limit them with the groups. So let's create um, two AD groups. We'll see if we do both. We start with deployment profile. If the video go too far, I cut it into two. If not, uh, we do enrollment status in the same. Normally should go pretty quick. So I'll open a new tab so we can come back easier. And we just want to go to groups. We skip again. And let's do groups. And let's create a new group. And security group that's good because Microsoft 365 would work but again that adds a lot of uh, team site SharePoint so let's call this one GBN uh, let's see what we should call this one deployment profile we can shorten that to uh, DP call it default because you can have multiple and here from membership type we're gonna do dynamic device so we're going to add a little query owner i'm going to add myself as owner it doesn't really matter it's more if you are a lot of admins uh, working in the same tenant it's good to know who have done what so i put myself as admin here so for the query i don't know this one <clears throat> by heart so actually i'm going to take it from um, uh, microsoft here so not this one here so here's a query. There are multiple. If we wanted to include all our autopilot devices, we can steal this one here. If we want to have a, with special order ID, if we order from uh, HP, Lenovo, Dell, and they add an order ID, and we want different settings per that, we can also add that to the order ID and purchase order as same, the same. But uh, all, all, all our devices should be member here. I don't know exactly what it means, so it's reading the device physical ID and if it contains any ZTD ID. So ZTD stands for zero, uh, um, zero touch deployment and ID identity. So that's going to include our machine. So we saved that one and we create this group we'll see if our machine already shows up there should if not it could take a little time for the moment we don't even see the group and uh, we still have the group hopefully one member is in there it's not in there yet well we wait a bit and see if that catch up meanwhile we'll create the other group so we need a group for, let's create the group for the enrollment uh, status page. So we could have a different one for different user. I'm just going to create the one called uh, GBN ESP. And I call this one default also. And this one we're going to assign members. And I forgot to put an owner. I think I did that on most of my groups, right? Well, let's see if that one shows up soon. Our ESP. Nope. There. I'm going to add. Uh, that's not here, right? Members. Yeah, we can add a member. I'll add myself because I'm going to be the one who uh, enroll it. Probably do a, a group with all users and that there. Yeah, it's not instant. Oh, there it show up. Perfect. Uh, owner, 
that's what I wanted to add. I'm gonna add myself as uh, owner as well. Okay. So now we have our groups. I'm gonna see if uh, our DP shows our member now. Yes. Okay. So it took a bit of time for this one to show up. This one is now a member of the group. Perfect. So th there, just group. Now we're gonna create our deployment uh, profile or DP. So there is none, so we create the profile, click here, for Windows PC. You can call this a DBN uh, deployment, deployment um, file default, Windows default uh, DP, so yeah, spell that, default DP. Sure, we so all who are in the group can be converted. We should already have them ready, but so here we have a lot of choices. Deployment mode, user driven. Yes, we want it to be user driven. Join Azure AD join. We can have a hybrid if we are an on-prem uh, Azure AD. Not re uh, if we have an on-prem um, Active Directory, not recommended. If you can go Azure AD join, that's a lot better. Uh, we hide the terms, private setting we hide, hide account option, we don't want that. The account to get joined, I don't want it to be admin by default. Allow pre-provisioned deployment, no, that's called white cloud before I think. Uh, let's do with operating system default. Automatically configure keyboard, that's also good. Apply device name. I'm just going to change the last one. So it's pretty self explanatory. Of course, the two first one here are important, but device, I want to have a specific name standard. So I want all my computer names start with the GBN and then dash. And could take a random number, but I like also to put the serial number. So the name's gonna be GBN dash and then whatever serial number. If it's too long, which uh, Hyper-V is, it's gonna cut because it's still limit to um, net BIOS name. I think it's 15 or 16 character. And uh, if it's from HP and Dell, maybe Lenovo have a bit longer, this should work fine. If not, we can do random as well. Perfect. And then we have our group. We could add all device, but we have created our uh, group here, DBN, and this was for deployment profile. And ready. So that's the deployment profile. Let's go back. Can we slide? We can't. I'll go back all the way to devices, Windows, Windows enrollment. So we have done deployment profile. Now we re need the enrollment status page. It's basically what the user will see. And there is one already default, but I'm going to add a new one and call this one GBM ESP default. GBM ESP and then go next. Settings. So we can show nothing. I think it's a good well, depends on your scenario. I think it's good that the user sees something is happening. If not, they might shut it down. And this is how long time it can run before it problems. I, I'm usually pretty generous. I think we can put um, uh, four hours. Show a custom message. Yeah, sure, that's a good one. Please uh, contact uh, your nearest uh, GBN support office. And I guess you could give a URL or phone number or more means that because that's pretty annoying to just get a message because you don't know how to contact. Turn on log and collect. I like this one, especially now. If everything is working good, then maybe you can hide that. Uh, only show page to division uh, provided by out of box experience. We can keep that. Yes. Uh, I actually don't want to block it. I think it's good. It um, can continue even if uh, there's an error. Uh, and by saying no, I think we lost all the stuff below there. We could say that 
the, we don't present the desktop to the user unless all applications are installed and then you can say which application and that but we only have uh, two apps our company portal so these two must be installed but even if you have 50 um, uh, application if you specify five these must be installed there is no automatic who says that those five install first and then all the others so it's a bit random so i'm not a big fan of that but totally up to everyone to do as they want so i don't want to block so i'm okay that they log into an empty desktop and get outlook and all the tools that they need uh, later that's better but that depends and we have our group that we created our esp default so you could have one for your marketing users, one for your um, sales or whatever departments you have and have a different uh, experience here and different time. I'm not using scoop tags. So we have created our ESP. Perfect. So if we go back, if I go back to Windows here, we have imported our hardware ID, we have our deployment profile, we have the uh, dynamic group and we see the hardware ID we imported our members, so we know that the deployment profile is going to be applied. Um, enrollment status page we also created and assigned to a group where I added my uh, username, so as long as I enroll in autopilot with that user, this ESP is going to kick in. So we are ready. So in next video, we're going to reset our machine and then try to autopilot. Let's see how that goes. See you in next video. Thank you very much.